it's been fascinating watching Twitter, you know, so many people around the world using it to report what's, what are they seeing right now, what's happening right now, which means we're able to break news very quickly. When an earthquake happens, people are Twittering during the earthquake. What book is falling off the shelf? What's the cat doing? What's the dog doing? All this t type of stuff, and that's really interesting, right? But uh, I think what's missing from that is the complete picture. There's, you know, we still need reporters and journalists and storytellers to put some context around that and say, okay, Twitter broke this news, but what does it mean? Um, and, and what are we going to glean from it? And so I think uh, clearly, I mean, there's a lot of people talking about sort of the future of media, you know, is would we start a company today that prints news on paper and gas up a fleet of trucks and drop it off at everyone's house? No, because that's not scalable. But that's what we have now, and we also have tools like Twitter, which are um, breaking news in real time around the world. So. You know, how do we work together to complete that picture? I don't know what the answer is. All I know is that there's, it, there seems like a really great opportunity there to work. And, and what about video? Uh, obviously, your text, but there's a lot of links to video. How do video publishers work effectively with Twitter? I think video publishers, like any kind of publisher, can look at Twitter as an information dissemination tool. It gets a message out very quickly to those who are interested in getting that. And because it's text, but it can be a link, then that includes all types of information, video, audio, pictures, web pages. 